scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne secrets. Confidants, come on in. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, located in the Champagne City, baby, for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. <laughs> Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos, with a side of charm. <laughs> Thank you for taking your lunchtime to have a bite with me. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, meet me on down at the Secret Chalet and let's get into it. <laughs> on your way in, hit that like and subscribe button so you'll be notified when we drop down in the chalet for another show. So for what I'm sipping on, y'all already know, my Moet and Chandon Imperial Rose. But I did like I told y'all to do. I threw some orange juice in and made a mimosa. <laughs> but it's brunch time tea, yes. So if you were here, and I have to apologize because I did say that I wanted to start all of my shows with giving some empowerment, encouragement, and positive affirmations. And I forgot to do that on my baddie's reaction, but I'm not going to forget to do it today. So take those glasses and raise them in the air. Cheers to my superstars. You are it. Seriously, you're amazing, magnificent, and your own best investment. Inside of you is this incredible powerhouse of potential, just waiting to burst out and take on the world. Believe it, because it's true. You're like a bottle of the finest bubbly, ready to pop and shine. So embrace your amazing self, and let's make some magic happen. You've got this, and I'm here cheering you on every step of the way. So raise a glass to yourself because you are worth it. And if you want more empowerment and encouragement, then hit that notification bell so you'll be notified because this is Wellness Waves Wednesday and we'll be discussing part two of Escaping the Heartbreak Hotel sometime later on tonight. So for all of you who are trying to get over heartbreak, this one is for you. So go ahead and tune in. Meet us down at the chalet later so that we can talk about escaping the Heartbreak Hotel. So y'all listen, I took the time and I looked at the new trailer or teaser, I guess, for the Baddies Caribbean uh, auditions. And I gotta tell y'all, I'm not here for it. I I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm tired of all the fighting. Everywhere you look, it's just fighting, 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 fighting. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. All you see, I was hoping because Spice is on here, international superstar. This is what an international superstar looks like, Mariah. <laughs> Shinsia is on here and if you ever heard her music she is amazing I am in love with all things Caribbean so I was really hoping and I don't know why I got my hopes up to feeling like because Spice was going to be on here and Shinsia was at the auditions and there was a video recording of Lemmy talking about he wanted to kind of switch the narrative of Zeus that it was going to be something different but I'm not going to sit back and watch another season of baddies and all they're doing is fighting nobody's getting to the bag nobody's making money nobody's leveling up just look at it I'm not going to show the videos because I already told y'all I got a strike from Zeus already they were nice enough to remove it but I'm not taking that chance but look 
what does any of this have to do with being a baddie? Fight, twerking, fire on your ass, unless you're trying out for a fire show. I, I don't know. I don't, what is the point? Look, fight, 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 fight. This is all baddies has to offer. There's no real effort that goes into this show, and that's what I have a problem with. You don't have to do a lot of producing to have people on screen fighting. So I'm not sitting through another season of Fight Club 2.0. I'm, I'm not. I can go outside on the block if I want to see this. I'm not about to keep continuing to pay a subscription to see what I can see right on the block every day. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And if any of my subscribers I happen to lose because I refuse to keep reacting to this foolishness, it, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's okay. It just means that they weren't meant for this channel. There are a lot of channels that are devoted to Zeus and now that's TV and that's fine. This just isn't one of them. But what I did do is I went and grabbed a collection of shows that I would like to start reacting to and um, kind of shift the narrative on my channel away from Fight Club to some stuff that's more classy, upscale, because they have their level of ratchetness too, but it's not all fighting. You can be ratchet without fighting and still be enjoyable. So. I want to give you a list of those shows that I want to start reacting to. So the first one I have on my list is Too Hot to Handle. I don't know if any of you have seen this series, but they bring a group of sexy singles to a beach and um, they give them the surprise of their lifetime. So they think that they're coming to this regular TV dating show, but they're actually tricked they think they're coming to hook up with a bunch of other singles and they actually get there and they're told that they're not allowed to engage in any sexual activity. There's money on the line and every time they engage into a sexual act or what would be considered a sexual act, they take money out of the pot. So um, however much money you have at the end is what they end up winning. So it's actually a good show. It is a really good show to put you to the test of um, whether you can really attain true love or whether all you care about is sex. So it is a good show. Um, so I may start reacting to that. Um, House of Villains was another good one and I kind of wish I would have started my channel reacting to this because it really was a good show. Bobby was my favorite on there, Bobby Lights, um, but they bring all of the reality TV villains in one house in one show to see who's going to be the most villainous of them all. The last season, um, which I think was actually the first season, Tanisha from Bad Girls Club actually ended up winning. Amazing show. Um, and then another show that I thought was really good was F Boy Island, where they take these three women, they put them on this tropical paradise. They're joined by 26 men, 13 of which are self proclaimed nice guys who are looking for love, and 13 of which are self-proclaimed f-boys um and they're to they're there to complete to compete y'all i can't talk for cold cash so there's a hundred thousand dollars on the line right if the girls choose the nice guy then them and their nice guy get to split the money but if they actually choose a f-boy then the f-boy walks away with it all so um I love to react to that. Then you have the show Traders, and Traders is kind of like a contestant show. Um, it happens in this huge, beautiful castle, and they work as a team to complete a series of challenges, and ultimately they have to figure out who the traders are and who the loyals are. So that's another good show. 
But then on my real life TV specter, um, I have bold and bougie in my scope with Malaysia and Gaucher. Um, then there was a show that I really loved and it was called Riches. And Riches followed um, these children in this family after the, the death of the father in the family. And uh, the whole family is left in disarray because the children that he grew up with, he basically left nothing. But his estranged daughter and son who were living in America, he left his entire empire. And um, so it's like really a battle between this family because his wife thought that the empire should be left to her and the kids. Um, but apparently this show was canceled by Prime Video because of the whole writer strike thing and it's really unfortunate because it was a good show it was really good so I'm really gonna look and see if it was picked up by anyone else but I think I'm gonna go back and do some reactions to riches because it was it was really good and it took place in Africa so kind of stepping away from the whole US theme of shows and looking abroad um, to shows like young famous and African um, because I did take a glimpse at this show before. And when I tell you some of their style on this show, it's just absolutely amazing. So I may do reactions to that. Um, the Real Housewives franchise over in Africa. You have Johannesburg. You have Nairobi. You have Durban. So um, looking at Real Housewives from abroad. So there's really a lot of TV shows that I really want to get into that are more high class, you know, than just watching a bunch of people come on a show and go fist of fury. If Zeus comes out with like a charm school, then I'm here for it. If I were the pursue, uh, producer on Zeus, I'd do a competition show and put money on the line. I would give them each a goal to reach and I would connect the baddies with the execs in the era, in the areas that they want to level up in. And um, the baddie that goes the furthest or accomplishes the most is the one that win that will win the prize. But every time they would attempt to fight or argue or any of that, then I would remove money from the pot. Like make it something interesting. I would have challenges. I would have excursions, all kind of stuff. But baddies isn't trying to go in that direction. I know like Natalie prides herself to be to be in an EP on this show, but it does not take much to put a bunch of girls together to fight. So I'm just not here for it. They like this ish and somebody is really going to end up hurt. Mark my words. Someone is really going to end up hurt on Zeus and it's going to be a whole problem. And I just refuse to keep tuning into it just to get views. I do. Um, so if you're here for switching up the narrative and kind of taking a different direction and looking at some reality shows that bring some fun and sparkle to the mess, you know, because that's what I want my channel to be about, then, then go ahead and tune in for some clink and chaos, huh? <laughs> go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and tune in and let's have some fun. Let's sip some bubbly. And let's get into some of this other tea that's going on in the reality world. Because confidants, remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise your glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.